Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make homemade baby food. All up, this took me about an hour and a half with cleanup and it will last for a good few months in the freezer, so it's definitely worth the time. So the ingredients that I'm using today are going to be butternut squash or butternut pumpkin, some sweet potato, carrot, zucchini and apple. All these ingredients are really good for your infant when they're just starting out on solids, so I highly recommend starting on these. So I'll jump right in and show you how to do it. First you're going to need some boiling water with a steamer on top and place your peeled chopped carrot in the top and also your peeled chopped zucchini in there as well. I'm going to show you this method on how to do it all at once so that you can get everything cooking all at once and it's very quick to do. Next you'll need to peel and dice the apples and place those into their own small pot of boiling water. Set your oven on fan force and 200 degrees and preheat ready for your pumpkin and sweet potato. In one pan add your washed sweet potato and go ahead and prick holes in the skin with a fork. Remove the seeds and gunk from your butternut pumpkin and you want to put a small thin layer of water in one tray and place the butternut pumpkin face down into the water. Once your oven is at temperature place your pumpkin and your sweet potato into the oven and set the timer for just around 45 minutes. At this point your zucchini and carrot should be cooked, you want to just check with a fork and make sure when you do remove it from the heat that you keep the pot of boiling water because we're going to use that later. Now you can use a food processor or a stick blender, that's all I've got here and my stick blender actually comes with a cup which is perfect. Now go ahead and add your foods to the blender. I try to keep the batches semi-similar and not mixing them too much. That way you know if your infant has a reaction to certain food groups. Once you have introduced solely zucchini or solely carrot, you can then start mixing them. I did have a few that I had mixed together because Clara has already had some of these foods. But if you're certainly starting off, start off with just plain carrot and then start mixing and having carrot and apple and that sort of thing. So you want to go ahead and start mixing them. As you can probably see, this is quite hard to mix as it's quite a thick mixture. So you want to go ahead and add that boiling water that you have from the pot and add it to the to you get the consistency that you're after with your baby's food. Obviously, the younger they are, they need it more watery. And obviously, as they start getting older, you can have it quite thick as it originally started out with. I picked up these awesome baby food trays that come with lids, but you don't have to get specifically baby food trays. You can just get an ice tray as long as it has a lid, or if not, just use Glad Wrap over them just so the food doesn't spoil in the freezer. Grab your blended food and put it into these ice trays. Just be careful that you don't overfill it because it comes really difficult at the end when they're frozen. With my first batch of zucchini and carrot done, I'm now just doing straight carrot. Once that's all done, your apple should be ready to go. Go ahead and strain that and remember to catch the boiling water into a pan. You will need that as well. I chose to do just straight apple in this one, so go ahead and blend that up and add that boiling water if you need to water down the mixture slightly. So once all that's done, this is what they should look like. Go ahead and place lids on them or glad wrap if you don't have lids and then place them into your freezer. I just found it was best to do it overnight, so if you can leave them in there overnight, do so. By now your sweet potato and pumpkin are done, remove them from the oven and let them cool down. Once cool, your sweet potato is super easy to prepare. Just cut a knife down the middle and then pull it open and the skin should just peel off really easily. So go ahead and peel the skin off and dice it up and place it in your blender. For your butternut pumpkin, all you need to do is grab a fork and just scrape away at the insides into the skin. You just basically gut it all out and then you'll just be left with the skin. I chose to put them in bowls because there was so much sweet potato and pumpkin. I probably could have halved this recipe. There was a lot coming out of it. Because I'd used my freezer trays for the previous ingredients, I chose to put them in tubs of sweet potato and pumpkin and I glad wrapped these in the fridge overnight and then once the first ingredients were frozen, reuse those trays to freeze. Once everything is frozen, you can pull them out of the freezer. The next thing you're going to need is a snack bag or like a Ziploc sandwich bag and a permanent marker. Date on these what you when you cook them and also what is in them. You just break the ice trays as you would with normal ice and place the cubes into the bags. Once you have them all bagged up, this is exactly what they should look like. And then you can just basically grab one of these trays. I got this tray from Kmart and you just place them in the trays and then stick them in the freezer and they're good to go. The food can last up to six months. So I did do a huge batch like I said, so you can halve it if you need to. But it took me an hour and a half. I managed to 
cook everything at once and it all went into the freezer and that's pretty much all the car food Clara is going to need for now and when you need to use them you can either grab out the cubes that you want and feel free to mix the cubes up you can grab one of carrot and one of zucchini and basically mix them as they defrost or you can just do straight carrot like I said if your baby is new to food but that is it you just warm it up or you can leave it in the refrigerator and let it defrost overnight but that is how I have done our baby food it has saved a bunch of money I think I spent a total of maybe eight or ten dollars on the ingredients max on that it's an hour and a half worth of prep and you save so much money and time and at least you know what is in the food that your baby is going to eat I highly recommend doing this method if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next video thanks bye them and I think this was six to 36 months so something small like I said I didn't want to get her heaps of toys because there's plenty that Hazel has passed down to her but I thought